I never thought that I would make a video like this, but I have had enough of these kinds of people. I have zero sympathy anymore. And this is just blatant lying to people, to kids, to make money. And I am pissed off. And these kinds of people have to be held accountable. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lakshay and I just want to preface this whole video by saying I don't have a problem with people who do steroids. I have zero problem with them. Your body, your choice, I don't judge them or anything based on what they choose to do in their bodies. Pretty much everyone that I look up to in the fitness industry use steroids and I'm completely fine. I personally wouldn't use steroids, but I don't see that as a problem because they are honest about their use of steroids. Now, I'm going to talk about fake nutties. What is a fake nutty? A fake natural is someone that uses steroids but lies to the public about being natural. Now, we're going to talk about one person in particular. On Instagram, he's been blowing up lately and he's been growing. And I want to say that majority of his fan base are kids. They are young people just starting lifting. And that is why this is a problem. I have been in that place before. They are gullible. They are young. And that is why I am so pissed off right now. So let's talk about this guy. This guy's name is Hamza. Now, Hamza is a 22-year-old fitness influencer on Instagram. Now, let's have a look at him. He has the words natural aesthetics in his bio. He's 22 years old. And this just this pisses me off so much because majority of his audience, he has 469,000 people who follow him, who follow his workout plans. And these people are gullible young kids and I do not blame them at all. I blame this guy. Let's look at a few of his videos. It was more like three and a half years ago to be precise. Consistency will always get you the best results. Now this is a three and a half year transformation. And let's just be honest. If you've been lifting for a long time, I've been lifting for about seven or eight years now. And when I was young, when I first got into lifting, I just thought everyone was natural. I thought Mr. Olympia guys, all these physique pros, these professional bodybuilders, I thought that if I trained hard enough that I could look like them. I was gullible. I used to think all my favorite Bollywood celebrities, Hollywood celebrities were natural. And all I did was research about them, look at their workout plans, their meal plans, and that's all I did. And as I got more and more experienced with bodybuilding and fitness, as I grew older, I've realized that almost all of them were using. And I can imagine that a lot of young kids right now are in the same boat as me, as I was when I first started lifting. But there's so many more fitness influencers out there now that use steroids and lie to the public about being natural. And what that does is these young kids, they look up to these guys that are using steroids and buy their workout plans. They buy their meal plans and because they want to look like them. That's the whole point that they use steroids is so they can push these products onto these young kids. They can push these supplements. Gymshark, for an example, pretty much everyone in Gymshark, 99.9% .9 of Gymshark athletes, male athletes, male bodybuilders that are sponsored by them are using. And they don't admit it. I think it's part of their contract that they can't be open about their use, but they are using and they do lie about using. And I was victim to this and I was so sad and depressed because no matter how hard I trained, no matter how many meal plans I tried, no matter what kind of workout plans I tried, I could never look like these people that I looked up to. And I feel demotivated and it really affected my mental health. So I can just imagine what these young kids who buy these workout plans, who buy these meal plans and get nowhere to looking like how these guys look. I can see how that would affect their mental health, that I can 
affect how they feel about their body, their body image issues. It's so frustrating. But let's have a look at some of these other posts. What my arms look like five years ago versus now. Come on. This is insulting to people. This is insulting to my intelligence. And it's clear that majority of this guy's audience, the people who follow him, or hard bro, bro, all the very best. Come on, pre, this guy knows what's up. No matter how you defend or act deep down, everyone knows you're not natural. I don't think he's natural. There are a few woke people, self-aware people on his comments, but everyone else. Genetics. Genetics too good. See, this guy knows. I ain't a hater. I just want things to be clear in this industry. I know your sponsors might tell you to avoid speaking out about your use of some substances, but this doesn't mean it's the right choice. Please be clear to your fan base that I am a fan of and just admit it. And if you are natural, you can present the explanation and how are you natural. And saying you're not natty when you are actually is a compliment. Just saying. It's clear by this guy's Instagram that he makes content just for the sake of making content to try and spike the Instagram algorithm because some of these fitness tips are so pointless and obviously it works for him because he has a lot of followers but it's just so sad to see that where fitness industry has come to people are just making content for the sake of content this is a myth that most gym goers believe they end up exhausting themselves by doing this you don't need to count all your macros the only thing you need to count for is the total protein intake See, that makes no sense because even if you want to calculate your total caloric intake, you still have to count your carbs and fat. And I have said before that carbs and fat doesn't matter as much. You can interchange, increase, decrease carbs and fat as long as your calories stays the same. But if this just doesn't make sense. Like he's making content for the sake of making content and he is consistent with his content. But I just... There are people in his comments that call him out that he's lying about being natural and that he needs to admit it. But there are also a lot more people that just suck up to him, you know, that just little kids, young people who just look at his great physique and just want to be like him without knowing what he's actually doing behind the scenes. And do I know for sure that he's using pretty much but there is it's highly unlikely that he looks like this naturally unless he has the best genetics in the entire world there's just no way that he looks the way he does without using substances that's just the reality do this to grow your pecs make this change retract your shoulder blades he's just doing things that no one does in the gym and then he's like do this and he does it properly like i've never seen anyone do peck flies like that but i just want to say that i don't hate i'm not hating on the guy itself like he has a great physique and if even if he admitted to using steroids you still need good genetics to look the way he does but the problem that i have is him still lying to so many people that he's not using and that is natural and this creates such a false hope for people that they can look the way he does without using these substances and you know what it does a lot more younger people turn to substances because they get so frustrated that they can't look like him it's just sad to see so many young people using because the the reason that i'm not using is because i've looked into it and i'm not going to sit here and lie that i haven't been tempted to use steroids everyone who's been lifting has probably thought about using steroids because why wouldn't you? And the reason why I choose not to is because I have done the research and it's just not worth it. The side effects are not worth the results of steroids, the lifelong effects and the lifelong medication that you have to be on. And especially, um, obviously in the country that I'm in, it's just, you can't, it's illegal. So that's what really frustrates me. And He's just lying to young kids to make money. Because let's have a look. 
What is he promoting on his Instagram? He wears a lot of Gymshark clothes. Obviously, he wants to be sponsored by Gymshark. Why wouldn't you, as a fake nerdy, want to be sponsored by Gymshark? And one thing that I've also noticed is he never has any shirtless pics. He always has his pics hidden in all of his posts. Um, that's a red flag. If you never see people shirtless as much and they always wear tanks that hide their chest, possibly gyno, possibly some other side effects. I don't know for sure, but it is a massive red flag. Let's have a look at his website. Workout, meal plans and coaching. Of course he's trying to sell something. Of course he is. Why would you lie about using steroids when you're not trying to sell something? Online coaching. Workout plan, custom meal plan, workout plan, 109 euros. Workout plan, 60 days, 24.95 euros, 120 euros. And there it is. That's the product that he's pushing. And even if he doesn't specifically say, buy my products, buy my products, that's just what people are going to do because they look at him and they look at how big and jacked he is and they want to look like him. All these young gullible kids and they buy his products. And what happens? They don't look like him because it's not his meal plan. It's not his workout plan. That's the reason he looks like that. He lies to his younger fan base and he is a liar and a fraud. That's just what he is. He's a guy who lies blatantly about his use to make money for his financial gain. He's destroying lives for his financial gain. That's, I, it's not even extreme. That's, that's just what it is. He's destroying young people's lives, young people's mental health to make money. And a lot of these younger Indian Pakistani kids who are on social media, they don't, they're not as self-aware because they haven't been in the fitness industry for as long as all these other people in these Western countries have. So they buy this bullshit that you can look the way he does much more easily. And it's sad, but that's just the reality, which is why this guy needs to be held accountable. And I just had to make this video and to just call him out because it's 2021 and people still can't be lying about being natural. And if you're using steroids and you don't lie about being natural, but you're not also admitting to using steroids, that's fine. Like, I get that. You might have a contract with a company that you can't talk about these things. But if you're just out there lying that you're natural, that's just so disingenuous and you are a liar. Hamza, if you're watching this, stop. You're lying to young kids about your natural status. People look up to you. People want to look like you. And you're just making money. You're making financial gain out of these young, gullible kids. Stop. Even if you admit it to using steroids, you have such an incredible physique. You have good genetics. I would respect you more. There's a lot of people out there that would respect you if you just admit that you've used substances to get to the place you are. People aren't going to look at you less because just because you use substances, but you're, you're insulting people's intelligence by lying to people that you're natural. So just stop and just be honest. That's all people want. We can create a fitness industry that's full of honesty, where people aren't ripped off by fake natties. And it's people like you that just perpetuate this lie that you can look a particular way without using steroids. But please stop. So please be honest and stop making financial gain out of young gullible kids. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And I know that there are a lot of people out there that make fake nutty videos, but this, I just had to make this because it's just frustrated me so much. And a lot of the people that I know follow this guy and it's just so frustrating to see this, to see this lie keep going on and going on. Like it's 2021. I've been training for eight years now and there's still people out there that lie about using. Like it's not even as bad to admit. It's not bad at all to admit that you're using steroids. It would have been maybe eight years ago, but now it's a lot more people are. Brandon Harding, Greg Doucette, more plates, more dates. Like a lot of people are admitting and I respect them even more for doing so. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. 
please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. That will really help my channel out a lot. And comment down anything you want and I will respond. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Mm -hmm.